right guys um, for this assignment um, make sure that you have your board set you should have a mat underneath it so it's nice and safe um, you will need two russet potatoes that were provided in the culinary kit you should have a waste bin which was also provided in the culinary kit in this case it's a six pan and then you should have a one quart container with some water for your finished cuts um, as well as your knife a peeler and a towel all right guys after your potatoes have been washed and um, your station have been set it's time to peel them um, regardless of which peeler you have it's much easier to always have long strokes as you're peeling versus doing a lot of little um, strokes as you're peeling. It'll make it much more efficient and much more even in your peeling. I like having my container right where I'm peeling so I don't dirty my board. Uh, I just go from the front all the way to the back and let them fall into place. Alright guys, once we have our potatoes peeled and we have our knife, um, the first step is always to square off um, the potato as much as you can. Um, in a real restaurant, you wouldn't uh, waste nearly as much of a potato or any product whatsoever um, as the beginner's uh, knife cutting video that I uh, provided for you will do. Um, the idea is just to have a flat um, space that you can sit it on the board and then to start a flat space so we can get some concrete work i always think about the size of the cut that i'm going to do and i try to do my first cut regardless if it's for my flat uh side that is going to go towards the bottom or the beginning of the cut and i try to cut just that much off of whatever item I'm cutting. So for in this case, um, we have a, an eighth by an eighth. So I need about an eighth of an inch off of the potato. And I'm going to do that as much as I can. Sometimes I have to cut a little bit more just because an eighth might not give you the best uh, results. But what I look at is I look at my item and I figure out which one is the flattest spot, which for me is in this side. And I'm going to cut my one eighth off of that side and then put that down and continue cutting. Um, so always remember to have your claw. Your chef knife should always be touching your uh, knuckles and you will run it like so. Okay. Uh, in order to create slabs today, we'll have to do a little bit of sewing motion and then will make the knife move a little bit faster as we get into the smaller cuts. Also remember, your index finger should be on your blade and so is your thumb. Um, and then your grip should be kind of like so on your knife. All right. So first things off, about an eighth of an inch, move the knife forward. And that should create enough uh, of a flat spot for you to put your uh, your potato against the board okay now we're gonna do that one more time and keeping the claw method straight down that will give you another flat spot to get started Okay, um, now the idea will be to cut slabs out of this potato that are one eighth of an inch uh, thick. Okay, um, if your knife is really sharp, it will make this uh, really easy. If your knife is not very sharp, you'll notice that it will give you a little bit of a resistance. I always tell people to not try to get this in one stroke, but more of a sewing motion with the potato 
and you will get some slabs that are really straight and you will get some that are not so much. I try to look at the very top of my blade and look on the side and make sure that it's nice and straight and then start that sewing motion. Um, using the sewing motion also will help you recover if your knife starts going either one way or the other. Okay. You have to remember that we might run out of this flat space that we have here. So what I like to do is turn the potato around and start cutting from the round edge in. And that way will provide me uh, a flat surface as much as possible. And I will straighten this side and that will be part of my waist. And then I will continue making one eighth of an inch slabs okay um all right so we have a whole potato right here that is cut into one eighth slabs um since we're going to uh make cubes we need to start first with making uh sticks or um a julienne cut which would be considered an eighth of an inch by an eighth of an inch by two to two and a half inches uh, long. I'm going to divide my stacks to something that is easy to work with. If you have some uh, potatoes that are getting towards the end of the potato use the smaller side towards the top and the bigger slabs towards the bottom. Okay and I try to keep them as even as possible. And I have three stacks right here. I'm going to get rid of my waste and put it in my compost bin away from, uh, from my workspace. And then I'm going to continue. I usually use the border where I cut my flat spot to straighten the potatoes and make sure that they're all in the same place. Okay. In order to make this comfortable, I'm going to cut this potato in a half, like so. And that will provide a more manageable piece to cut into one eighth. Okay. Then I will straighten a path and notice that I my thumb is behind the potatoes to hold them together so they don't slide around and then my claw is right over the potatoes and I'm going to straighten one edge move that to the side and then I'm going to continue with one eighth cuts Okay, and you should continue making your julienne until it looks like so. Okay, and now I'm going to cut the rest of my potato into a julienne.
okay by the end of this you should end up with the at least from one potato you should end up with all these guys right here um now we're going to um, convert them in from a julienne into a bernoulli and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make them into piles that are manageable for me to cut pushing them against my knife and keeping them keeping them all as straight as I can okay it should look like so all right you might have one or other that is not making it all the way to the front but we are going to do what is called a face cut which if you have multiple items like this you will put your hand like so and you will get your knuckles against that knife and you will cut straight down to make sure that all the faces are the same. Okay, now we will continue with the same 1 8 of an inch cut through the sticks until we get to the end. This were the back end, so I'm getting rid of them. Do a face cut. And if you wanted to do the guillotine cut at this point, you sure can. Just make sure that you don't have too high of a pile, so when your knife is moving back and forward, it's not getting cut or not cutting all the way through. Okay, and if you were doing the guillotine cut, just like so. you can put it into your container with water know that if you're taking a longer period of time to cut them it would be convenient for you to put them in water while you work with the other half so you don't have a uh, potatoes that are oxidized and brown <laughs> 